I think caused an eruption yesterday. I mean, maybe we'll talk about that. We, we could we could start right where that is. Uh, yeah. You you put out a you know you you put out something regarding uh, LSU wide receiver, highly respected, talented prospect Malik Neighbors, right. who's expected to go high, maybe probably top ten in the draft. Uh, and you just, you know, essentially what you, you're standing on is what you report is that, you know, you had heard that he may be a little high maintenance and maybe him going to like a big city or a team in a big city may may not be the best for And it, I'm I'm surprised the amount of pushback that's been gotten on that, because like to me, that's not even a character assassination. But I'm going to let you speak to every all the thing that came came from your reporting. Well, that makes two of us because actually what happened was it was a full story. And if you read the portion of, if you actually read the story, uh -oh. which uh -oh. you, know, you do, and you read the portion on Malik Neighbors, 90% of this portion of Malik, Malik Neighbors, I actually praised them. I talked about how it is absolutely true that some teams have Malik Neighbors rated higher than Marvin Harrison Jr. on their draft boards. I said there is some concern because they, people believe that he's, a bit high maintenance, and that he may struggle in a big city. He'd be better off in a, a, a smaller NFL market. And what happened is people just took that one piece and it. up there, and everything blew up. And I, I'm assuming few people actually read the story because if you did, you would have noticed that you know uh, I the, the vast, vast majority of it actually praised Malik Neighbors. And it's kind of funny because I, I read a few comments. I tried to stay away from read a few comments. Somebody said I was. I was paid to go out there and, and, and kill LSU football. Meanwhile, throughout this entire process, I've said that I believe Jaden Daniels will actually be the best quarterback in this year's class. So, you know, this is the day and age of social media and people taking things. Out. I did absolutely say that, but it was just a small piece after I mm. had praised Malik Neighbors and pointed out the fact that, oh, yes, there were some teams that have Malik Neighbors rated higher than Marvin Harrison. But I also pointed out that there are some teams that have Roma Dunze oh. mm -hmm. rated uh, higher than Malik Neighbor. So take from it what you will. No, and, and it makes sense because, mm -hmm. I mean, from, from your perspective, it's not like you're giving your opinion on Malik Neighbors. You're just reporting what you always have done is what you're hearing. You go, you go around all these pro days. You're around all the schools. You're around the scouts. You're around the teams. You got to report what you're hearing. So, I mean, it just makes 100% sense that you're going to put that out there. And it's not like you're destroying the guy's character, but, you know, no, some teams may think this. Yeah. And just so people know, it, it wasn't one person that told me this and I ran with it. Actually, somebody right. brought this up to me before the LSU Pro Day. And then during the LSU Pro Day, somebody in the league said, what have you heard about this? And I made some phone calls and it took basically a week or so, multiple sources before I uh, before I went ahead with this, which is always what I do with these situations when there's some, <laughs> something negative something negative saying about a player that I don't know personally or I haven't witnessed myself. So and, right. and it, it, listen, there's no perfect prospect out there. I, I mean, there's no. no prospect out there that doesn't have you know little nicks and bruises. Even Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison, as we're seeing, uh, I mean, there's no perfect prospect out there. There, there is, and it just—I think it just goes to the the type of—I won't say society, but it, especially like with reporting football news or just sports news, it's become such a very aggregating type of culture, uh -huh. and almost little to no actually reading of articles. What's the clickbait? What's the hot take? And that getting put out there as like the fact when it's like literally like so minute in the grand picture and the big picture of what's actually being reported. Um. Anyhow, uh, but th I, I, we, I love that we started with that and kind of cleared the the air with the Malik neighbors uh, situation. Oh, Tony. Um, let's let's start. Let's start with the, with the Saints. Uh, 